Hey folks, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. The last few uploads were all about challenges. We have some nice stuff added to the game, which will definitely help. And now we can play with the Keeper. Just scrolling through everyone here. We've played with everyone so far, except for Apollyon and Keeper. We're gonna try to play with the Keeper today. Then we'll do Apollyon, and then we'll cycle back to Isaac, who doesn't have a heart kill. Wish me luck with those three characters. The Keeper is one of our special characters. Let's just get the fun out of the way. So if you look at the upper left corner, you'll see two coins. <laughs> what that means is the Keeper has air quote hearts, but they're actually coins. In order to refill the Keeper's life, you have to pick up coins. Also, if you accept a double deal, you would lose one of those coins permanently, which means you're one hit from death. With this character, I always focus on angel deals for that reason. Additionally, the Keeper's a little bit slower than everyone else, but innately has triple shot, which is pretty cool. Good damage, triple shot, that's nice. And then, unfortunately, the luck is minus two. In order to get the luck in your favor, you have to work a little harder with this guy. The Keeper also can innately hold the wooden nickel, which gives a chance for a coin to drop. I need to unlock that. Besides that, uh, if I can find the Swallowed Penny, that will help a little bit. My life savings will help as well. Otherwise, don't get hit. <laughs> That's the rule of thumb with most characters, but it is now vitally important with this character and one other character that you do not ever get hit. Who's the other character? Maybe I will unlock them someday. We need a particular trinket to drop in order for that character to spawn. With that said, let's see what we can do. Double nickel, nice start. Oh, that's off a little bit. I believe I'm going to have to go into greed mode or greedier mode with Keeper and win. I think that's gonna unlock the wooden nickel. It might also unlock the I believe the Keeper can have three coin hearts with the Repentance update, but I'm all, I'm used to the Keeper only having the two. We'll have to see. We will have to see. I will also check the Temperance machine. I feel like Temperance will be a little bit different for this character since you need the coins in order for the character to function correctly. Let's donate five real quick. That gets me to 750, that's a nice number. Yay. I did pick up the bomb bag, which is a wonderful item because I'm gonna get a steady influx of bombs over time. And you know I like to search for my secrets. Unfortunately, my bomb bag gave me a troll bomb. Not the kind of bomb I'm looking for. Oh, what do we want with this character? With this character, we want tier rate. That is vitally important. Oh yes, I am so used to playing the challenges, I forget, like, should I do room exploration? The answer to that question is yes, I should explore. <laughs> but I already got my item room, so I don't feel too bad about doing this. Oh, I'm gonna die. Saw that coming. Well, we did get a speed boost, which is good. Um, let me see if I can fish for a coin. I desperately need that coin, so that way I go down into the next floor with all of my life. Oh, 
Also, in unfortunate news, the Keeper cannot go into Cursed Rooms naturally. Because it's one to go in and one to go out. That's death. There we go. So, pay attention to the coin count when I pick up one of these coins. Because it's a coin heart, you are not banking the coin. You are adding it to your health instead. That's another quirk with the Keeper you have to keep in mind. All in all, a very challenging character. If I can nab the Holy Mantle, like with all my other runs you saw before, we can have a really easy time. But without it, well, you gotta just play supremely well. Nothing will ever hit you, you'll be fine. Ooh, sticky bombs. Okay. Sticky bombs are good. It gives me more bombs. And I can do some fun shenanigans with it as well. I really enjoy tagging an enemy with the bombs themselves and then the enemy getting blown up with it. <laughs> it's pretty fun. What I will do going forward, because I have to get into the mindset of the Keeper, I am not going to pick up any coins until the end. This will save me, because I know for a fact I have some extra health on the ground. And then, you know, again, it, this is air quote health for the character. Another quirk for the Keeper is hearts. This character does not get hearts whatsoever. So when you find hearts, instead you get flies. So if you ever see random flies appear, that was a heart drop that didn't work. Because I have a lot of bombs, I'll go ahead and bomb the secret rock, but it's not worth it to bomb for the keeper because if the soul hearts appear, you're getting flies. So it's essentially a waste of a bomb in that scenario, but I have so many, it's not a big deal. Swallowed Penny, very cool. So when I get hit, there's a chance for me to drop a coin now, which is gonna keep me alive. Come on, come on. <laughs> My damage is, hasn't been upgraded just yet. I really need a key to go in the shop. Well, at least I have the High Priestess to take out this boss. Point. see you. Oh, I did not know that. I forgot about... <laughs> uh, sorry, I yelled. <laughs> I forgot about our little buddy shooting out tears when he dies. That's okay. All is well. I'll be fine. Good thing is I didn't actually lose my double deal. So I'll have a chance of nabbing the angel deal on subsequent floors. Okay, only two of these could potentially be the secret. I think the secret room is actually adjacent to the curse room here. Okay. And then the secret room could also be in the left or right of this room. Whoa. Is it he Wait. Where is the secret? That's not the secret. Is the secret off of the item room? It's possible. The long room won't have the secret. It must be here. Interesting. Well, that works for me. Please. Lemon. Okay, that's fine. Guppy's tail is okay. I don't have any keys right now to take advantage of gold chests. But maybe I'll luck out. No nickel there. So no key means I can't get into the shop. That's okay. 
What I'm hoping to find is the golden key. That will make a very successful next floor. All right, angels, be with me. We need the holy mantle. We need, well, <laughs> we need the classics. I need the holy mantle. Sacred heart would be truly phenomenal. If I can get some pierce, either Sagittarius or Cupid's arrow, that'd be good. And then I'd also like to get homing tears. A lot of wishes right now. And any tier rate. So, be with me. So watch what happens when the shot speed decreases. It's much easier to hit stuff because the tears don't spread as much. But I need the extra chance of survival. So, I'll keep my little swallowed penny in case I get hit. Okay, we got a nickel. I'll take the nickel. What is this? Two of hearts. I think this works. If I get hit, I can just refill the heart with the card instead. No key means no access to my item room. Expert dodge right there. And then one more comment. Remember how my luck is minus two? It's less likely for me to have access to item drops at the end of the floor. It's a little unfortunate there as well. All in all, if you can get the keeper, you know, off the ground, we'll say, it gets a lot better, but it's a much slower start than other characters. Oh look, another chest. Oh. It's okay. I have a coin on the ground, I just gotta make it out of this room alive. We got a key. The most important thing is the item room. The item room can give me what I need. I'd rather do that than open the shop. And I'd rather do that than open a chest. Okay. This is Gemini. It's one of the Zodiac. Gemini gives me a little follower that's connected to me, just like the boss. And it will attack enemies that get close to me. It's a pretty good follower. See how mad it gets. Anything that helps me do more damage is always welcome. Keys. Okay. That works. We have a key. Uh-oh. Ooh, barely. Woo! It's like the movie Dodgeball. If you can dodge a flesh-hungry spider, you can dodge a ball. Okay, so that was a probably an eternal heart. Again, no good. Let's see who our boss is. Oh, this is definitely not good. I'm gonna have to bomb this thing. I, I win off this. All right. Angel, please. Okay, that's fine. Uh, a little bit of damage is good. Because of the keeper's base damage, small damage boosts are still pretty good. So that's fine. And I will go ahead and open the shop. Please. Um... 
Well, there's really nothing to take here. The sack is good. No, it's not. <laughs> Worth a shot. Oh. Well, that's fun. For the sake of items, I'm going to take the 9 volt. I don't have an active item, but if I get one... I believe there's a coin on the ground still, right? Yes. Let's see if I can mess the sacrifice room a little bit. Mess with, sorry. Mess with the sacrifice room. Just one hit. Okay. Can't blame me for trying. I am always messing around with the sacrifice room. Also, I am gonna two of hearts now because I'm not sure if this works, so I'd like to see. It does work, great. So now in the future when I play with Keeper, I will know that the two of hearts can save me. You know what? I'm going in that cursed room and I'll full card out. Oh, whoo. Okay, it did pay off there. More damage is good. I'm gonna try to get some flies. Okay. Please be the easy angel. Okay. So nervous doing this. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. Now I can full card, I have max health, we're ready to go. Damage boost is nice, so now I'm almost doing about two times as much as I did before, going down into the next area. Really stressing myself out this run, but that's what happens with these, again, these elite tier is what I call them. Elite tier characters are the scariest because of how easy it is for you to die with them. That's why they're elite. The difficulty is so high. But winning with them is like a badge of honor. You're like, yes, I won with X character. Also, my way is blocked by this chest, so we're gonna hope the item room is this way. Thank you. I'll take another key, though. Or not. Rotten Baby! Okay. Rotten Baby is going to give me a fly. That is a multiplier of my damage. That's very good. Currently, there are four gold chests on the ground. How about they give me some keys? The golden key would just, again, the golden key would be perfect for me. I also need to be able to fly in order to get one of, or two of the chests. So those ones we can just consider unobtainable. <laughs> take on the boss now. Husk? That's not a bit bad boss. Tear ray, nice. Uh, habit doesn't work, but we'll take it. Here's the heart angel. Oh, I saw it happening, but my reflexes were slow. Okay. 
I do have a coin on the ground, so I can go grab that. Not that one, the one in the secret room. I will bomb those nickel dudes. I just need to get my bearings first. So the good news with eye drops is sometimes you can shoot again. Like, I, essentially you have a zero delay tier rate, which means you just shoot again. That can be really nice. shop is past the spike area. I need to take this very slowly. Me and spikes are mortal enemies. You know what? My shop is jammed. Let's try to open this and get some extra stuff. <laughs> Darn. That is unfortunate. Two out of three is pretty good. Okay, that was a heart room. In this case, a fly room because Keeper doesn't get any hearts. We're one floor away from Mom. That's gonna be a pretty tough area. A key. Lovely. I guess the enemies were invisible. Thankfully I had a halo of flies. For without them I'm pretty sure I would have taken damage. So I took a risk there and got my key back. Hooray! Okay. We have more than one key. Wow. Not bad for negative two luck. Super secret? No? Speed down. <laughs> More soul hearts. I think the boss is that way. But if it's not, I won't have to go through that area. <laughs> wow. A lot of coins. You know what that means? Greed is on the way. My next curiosity, well, curiosity won't go with me this time. I was curious if the rainbow poop will heal the coin. Nice. 
Let's go do the challenge room. I have the golden key. Oh no. Okay, so Swallowed Penny saved me. For the first time. <laughs> the real test. Can I make it through the spikes without taking damage? Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're not going back. It's like the the zone, the zone where the storyline won't let you go past it. It's like, hey, after this point, you can't come back. You're like, that's okay. I don't want to come back. What is our item? I wonder if we can get more than two coin arms. Oh! Okay, I wonder what the max is. Can we get up to... Like, can we get 12 coin hearts? <laughs> Secret rock, more flies. Okay, well, this item doesn't hurt. But I can charge it supremely fast, which is nice. Also, look at this shop. Key, key, key. Sack. More keys. <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> what else am I going to spend my money on? I guess the good news is the bracelet charges very fast, so I can just use it to chuck stuff at enemies. <laughs> and technically I can hunt for black hearts. That doesn't work on this character. I should hunt for cards. Another secret rock. I'm curious, when will I get the small rock? Small arc is a really good item. I don't know if I unlocked it yet. But small rock is a little bit of damage, a little bit of tier rate, and then it's a speed down. But at this point, I don't mind a speed down. Low key, easy fight. Don't mind some tier rate. Tier rate's pretty good now. All right, here we go. What is in our chest room? Not much. Be nice, friends. Give me the steam sale. This is just wishful thinking. Nice. So when I get to my shop on this floor, I know it's not going to be greed. Unfortunately, this does lock me out of the combat room. So a little bit of a bummer there, but I'll take the shop for sure.
Another secret rock. More flies. So in my, all my other runs, I don't get quite as many soul hearts. I do get a lot of soul hearts, but in this run, I've only gotten soul hearts. Okay, there we go. Sometimes a light complaint can change things around. Should have left those coins on the ground. I forgot. Temperance, okay. Oh, that's not an enemy that you can kill. Strength is good. <laughs> and just like that, I've burned through all my coins. And by coins, I mean keys. Wow. That is a very nice tier 8. I pretty much have a normal tier right now. With the addition of the little, uh, with the double shots from eye drops, this is really good. Oh no, I don't have any keys. Really need a key now. I'll even take a bombs are key pill to swap my bombs and my keys. I'm fine with that. I'll take the sacrifice. I just need one key. The, ooh, that's a good trinket for this character. Increased shot speed. I talked about how good it is for the shots not to spread, but for the shots to be able to fly and hit really quickly gives you more time to breathe while your shots are flying across the room. Okay, I perhaps should have saved one of my keys for the shop, but oh well. Seraphim, join the party. And because I'm so tiny, uh, if I had the protector baby instead, it would be a lot easier for me to block tears. Good news about the keeper's quirk. There's no difference in the amount of damage you take when you go into the womb. It's still just one coin heart. Is that a saving grace? Sure. Oh, that was me. <laughs> I just sat there and let that hit me. In a way, I feel less stressed going into the womb with this character than I do the others. It's quite an interesting headspace to be in. Yep, that happened again. Perhaps 
someone could give me a key. Thank you. Again, leave the coins on the ground. That's a reminder to myself because if I don't, I might get into a little bit of a predicament with my health. Good thing the door opened. <laughs> Alright, boss one. Mama Gertie. is interesting so I talked about devil deals taking your coin hearts away they changed it so now when you take a devil deal with the keeper the devil deal costs money that's cool give me conjoined nice and I'll take this why not too spooky for me PJs don't do anything Interesting. That's really cool. That's a good update. I have all this extra money. Might as well do something with it. We're gonna leave the money on the ground. The D4! D4 is cool. D4 will reroll every item you're holding. And it's not on the ground. It's actually an active item. So you could essentially continue to reroll your build until you felt satisfied. Obviously the more things you have the better, but you know, let's say you start off and you're on like caves 2 and you have like only health up items. You could just reroll the health up items to give yourself a fighting chance for the rest of the floor. Or I guess the rest of the run. Oh, now you want to give me keys. Okay, I, I respect that. That golden horseshoe doesn't work because I don't have any more item rooms. is that a golden troll bomb okay <laughs> wow that's dangerous <laughs> all right objective number one this gets us to heart kill I think I'll go down into shield. I have no idea where I am, but Super Greed Baby has appeared in the basement. Didn't know where I was, but I'm so tiny it's a little hard to hit me. said I should go into Sheol. Sheol is easier than Isaac. Satan is easier than Isaac for sure. Let's go take on Isaac. Beating Isaac here it would be very good.
So what I can do with the Isaac fight, if I get hit, I can actually use the strength card to refill the coin heart. Since it's supposed to give me plus one heart containers, and I'm, I believe the cap is three, but I hope not, it would just refill the empty third container. It'll also give me a damage boost. All in all, a strength card versus Isaac is one of the best things to have, I think. I like how the map is showing that there was a soul heart in this room. But of course, no hearts for this character. No boss, no boss. I was hoping I could hit the enemy from across the room so I didn't have to cross that turret fire. And I succeeded. That's the beauty of multi-dimensional baby. It's doubling your tiers and making them go further. Tier 8. Mr. Dolly gives hearts, so all the hearts become flies, but the tier 8, that's really what we're after. Getting Mr. Dolly at this late in the game, probably saving my life, perhaps? Because I'm definitely at a normal tier right now. Okay, we get to find out if we get more than three coin hearts. No, okay. Works for me. Isaac, be nice. Also, you can see the power of triple shot. Even though my damage isn't supremely high, I can still do a lot of work. And I didn't even have to use the strength card. Sweet. Successful keeper run. I'm surprised. Keeper now holds the wooden nickel. Great. So that item I talked about, now the keeper's holding it, which means after every room clear, I can have a chance to spawn an extra coin. It could be a penny, a nickel, a dime, and that just increases keeper's survivability. In the next run, I'm gonna try and clear greedier mode with Keeper. That is a whole different level of stress. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one. Bye.